What's happening? Crypto fam, happy, happy Thursday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume my content, so thank you. This morning, thanks for sending me the link, June. I want to cover proposed legislation in Germany, CBDCs, and potential super duper exponential growth next year we know this is the year of the nft but it's collectible nfts collectible um and not that functional not that there's not stake in nfts i want to get to the point now and i talk about functional i don't necessarily mean one that you just stake and it pays you i mean a functional nft i was about an ncp parking NFT for Manchester. It means every time I go to Mar Manchester, I've got free NCP parking for the rest of my life. How many are they? Are they going to do that? McDonald's, a free breakfast the rest of your life. A sub, a, a Greg's, get a free cappuccino every morning. Free cappuccino NFT every morning. Functional NFTs within life that that actually give discount or add a little bit of convenience. They're going to start blowing up towards the back end of this year and next year, along with CBDCs and a serious amount of institutional investment. So, proposed legislation in Germany could allow $425 billion to flow into crypto. This, is, this would be $405 billion of institutional money from special funds. Basically, without knowing exactly what it means, it sounds a little like the investment banker slash hedge fund manager slash knobhead taking the piss of all our money, but we'll, um, we'll speculate it. A new German law could theoretically bring as much as 350 billion euros of institutional investment into the cryptocurrency market. Interesting. The report cites... CEO of Distributed Ledger Consulting. The bill, which was approved by Germany's parliament last week, is expected to take effect on June the 1st. If it is approved by the upper house, the Bundesrat, under the legislation, wealth and institutional investment fund managers, known as special funds, spej, spej, I mean, that is S-P-Z-I-A-L funds. Spez. Special. Special funds. It's special funds, if you want to say it in English. I don't, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know what I'm like with enunciation, pronunciation. So the special funds will be able to invest up to 20% of their portfolio in crypto. So imagine a hedge fund manager. He can put 20% of his fund into crypto. If they all did so to the 20% limit, nearly $425 billion would move from other assets into crypto, based on the total assets under management of such funds in Germany. The legislation could prove a significant development for wider acceptance of crypto institutional investments across Europe, giving Germany status as the Eurozone's most powerful economy. There have been other signs of such acceptance of crypto emanating from Germany in recent months, with Deutsche Bank announcing its intention to offer custody and brokerage services to its institutional clients in December. The not, and I, 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 the no, there's no fucking way all these hedge fund managers throw up to 20% of a fund into crypto and don't stake. Whether they've just got a token like ADOT and Ether and all the rest and staked them, or they've got functional staked NFTs, or they, they, just, they, they grow their own fucking staking platform, the go. They're not just going to invest and leave it like most people holding do. It's not what they're going to do. Going to flip and throw it about here and there. But with Germany moving like that, that special funds isn't everyone. 
Just like you have to be a financial advisor at times to handle people's money, will you have to be a qualified um, money dickhead, basically, to be allowed to fuck other people over with their money and get away with it. Um, see, if me or you did it and we lost the money, we'd get sued to shit, no qualifications, and your back doors would get pulled right open. Oh yeah, and it'd hurt me. I mean, if we was qualified as a hedge fund manager, it, it, it just didn't work out, bro. Is that not? I mean, the fuck. You insured up to like eighty k FCA. Like this is the thing. People think insurance and the FCA and the FCC and all that shit are just gonna pay. Are gonna pay out any money that you lose, nah, bro. It's eighty k per account. <laughs> You're only insured for eighty thousand dollars per account. There's people in crypto that have got more than that already. So not even all your cryptos insured, even if you've got it insured. Think about that. So the bank of Mauritius, Mauritius, some French bank, looking to launch a CBDC pilot this year. So if you got what, what's going on in China and India and Australia and everywhere fucking else with the CBDCs, the Bank of England as well. They're about to blow, and what? And again, once they do, people need to realise a, a a central bank digital currency. If a real proper digital currency, and in order books with other digital currencies, it should be being added to the coin market cap. It should be added to the total crypto market cap. So over time, like you say, the four hundred and odd billion from the hedge funds. Add it to the market cap once it's in. CBDC is being traded across all cryptos, bridged with XRP and other bridge currencies. Add it to the market cap. It's a digital currency. Its market cap should be added to the digital currency market cap. So CBDCs will be here to complement and to address gaps in the traditional monetary system. Is not able to fulfill. Harbert, wrong goal. That pre went down the wrong goal, bruh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, do they have to complement and to address gaps in the traditional monetary system is not able to fulfill? Globally, central banks are looking into the possibility of digitizing their fiat currencies. However, there are still issues surrounding compliance, security, privacy, and how they can continue to fuck people over. I don't say that last line. <laughs> but you know that's one of the reasons. The panel encompassed OECD director Greg Medcraft and Loretta Jose, a fintech advisor within the Financial Services Commission of Mauritius. I believe that in most countries, it will be optional whether a person chooses to actually use a CBDC, Medcraft predicted, adding that stable coins and state-issued CBDCs can possibly work side by side. Well, I've got another prediction. People will do as they're fucking told. I was about that prediction. You'll do as you're fucking told. Right? You'll shut the fuck up and you'll do as you're told, and you'll give us the fucking money, and you'll take this fucking money. How many people still using plastic ten pound notes? I mean, I mean paper. How many people still using paper ten pound notes, paper five pound notes, paper twenty pound notes? How many people still using the shilling? How many people still using a two hundred and forty penny pound sixpence and shit? Stop talking out your fucking ass. People will do. She knows. She fucking knows. She doesn't want. She just want to piss you off too early. Just a water piss. Should I, I believe that? In, she should have said this. I believe in most countries, by 2030, 2035, feet will be gone, and there's not a fucking thing you can do about it. It's a deal. Or sh and shut the fuck up. See, Gollum noted that Maratus has been Meritius. It is, but I'm saying Maratus now. I don't know why. It's Meritius. Yeah. In discussions with the International Monetary Fund regarding how to design a CBDC. 
the International Monetary Fund and pass them on. Oh, no, this one. <laughs> Don't do that, Scott. I'm having a little joke this morning. It's, it's not. Uh, the IMF. Right at we ripple, mate. We fucking know we are. Right? They also told Coindesk that a major concern among central bank when considering issuing digital fiat is financial inclusion. Norway is on a central bank digital currency. Mate, now I, I'm going to need a little bit more information on Nazi Gollum. Like, so a major concern among central banks when considering issuing digital fiat is financial inclusion. Is that not already a problem? People financially excluded because they can't get access to the services that now require digital devices. Where's your fucking local bank gone? Mine's gone. I want a, if I want the bank now, I've got to trek fucking 10 miles or some shit. Well, it's not 10. It's not lying, Scott. It's about 6 miles, 7 miles. To the city centre. And fuck about in the city centre. Where there's the one that used to be half a mile away from the house in the local town centre. Ain't there anymore. Norway's iron central bank digital currency. A Norge bank governor, Oystein Olsen. I said that exploring the new currency and its pros and cons is a priority in the region. Meanwhile, the National Bank of Republic of Kazakhstan said it plans to call its new digital coin the Digital Tenge. Investors and central banks are now paying close attention to the volatile crypto market. Smaller nations are said to be venturing into CBDCs before the heavyweights step in. The Eastern Caribbean, Eastern Caribbean Central Bank launched Dcash a securely minted digital version of the Eastern Caribbean dollar, and the Central Bank of Bahamas introduced a sand dollar. They are beginning to roll it all out, and it's only going to roll and roll and roll and snowball. It's just going to snowball. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I mean the value, the market, the space, the industry as a whole. Not only adding more and more DeFi tokens, more and more NFTs, but actual CBDCs. And adding the volume from institutional investments, putting up to 20% of trillion dollar funds. Tw hundreds of billions, man. Hundreds of billions going in. But for me... The CBDCs and the real-world functional NFTs are what will spring this market to 10 trillion and beyond. Yeah? And I know some people at the moment can't really imagine it at 10 trillion just yet, but I promise you that is fuck all the way. It's nothing. It's nothing. Did people not realise how fast it actually went from 300 billion... To two point whatever trillion it reached, it was twenty percent of the way towards ten trillion anyway. Yeah, twenty percent there already. Obviously, it's not there now. I mean, it was. I've expected big things towards the back end of summer, and I actually did end up surprised. That we had so much movement in spring. Really surprising. Now, summer in four weeks, right? We hit summer in four weeks. I truly, I, I think it's going to start. I think that, that that is 21st of June. Summer starts. Rolls into July. It's either going to be hitting its ass by then. Right? By the start of June, it's, it's either going to be on its ass by the start of summer and by the end of summer it's coming back or they're just going to keep fucking about as, as, as they have been doing and we could legitimately still be at the same fucking price this time next year. Who fucking knows? It's probability, isn't it?
And on that note, all you've got to do is make sure you invest in yourself, get happy, invest in the internet of value, yeah? Live long and oddly all till you're ready to let it go. And wishing health and happiness to you and yours. We love crypto. We love CBDCs and hedge fund managers throwing their money in. Throw it in, lad. Throw it in, lad. And we love you. So take care of yourself. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.